Do you believe more than 90% of the people think their lifestyle diseases are irreversible or are you a person who is suffering from this condition and tired up of depending on medicines to manage or reverse this so what if i told you you can manage or even you can reverse your lifestyle diseases by following simple and easy natural methods it seems unbelievable right so stay with me in this video we will dive a little bit deeper on this topic and we will understand what are the actual root cause of lifestyle diseases and uh, I will also share few do's and don'ts by which you can manage or even you can reverse your lifestyle diseases. And disclaimer: the, the intention of making this video is just to bring awareness, not to treat your lifestyle. Uh, means, if your condition is so severe and you are on a severe medication, before practicing some tips which I share in this video, you need your physician's advice because your physician will always be superior than any coach. Hi, this is Sanjeev Kaliwala. I am on a mission to help at least 100,000 busy corporate leaders to achieve their health, to achieve their fitness, to achieve their longevity by applying all natural and convenient techniques. So without wasting time, let's do the video. So in this video, we are going to dive a little bit deeper on the topic of understanding what are lifestyle diseases. So for your information, a few lifestyle diseases are like uh, obesity, hypertension, type 2 diabetes, thyroid or your heart conditions. These all are called lifestyle diseases and the name itself says they are lifestyle diseases. Means they are caused due to your poor lifestyle. And among these uh, lifestyle diseases, we, are, we will focus a little bit more on type 2 diabetes because this is the most common condition nowadays. So have you ever wondered why every second person is suffering from this condition in our country and why our country is becoming a capital and stands second in world ranking for type 2 diabetes? This is only because due to lack of awareness and we fed with a myth and the myth is you will be diabetic when your pancreas stop producing insulin and this is a permanent condition and you need to depend on medicines for lifelong. And we will accept that condition also and we will surrender to it. But this is the traditional study. As per the latest studies, as per the latest research, the complete information is different. You will be diabetic not due to the failure of pancreas. Your pancreas will be producing sufficient insulin. There will be insulin in your body already. But your body will stop responding to that insulin. Your body, your cells will become resistant to the insulin and uh, the sugar in the food will be remain in the blood and you will be suffering from this condition so the only way to manage this condition or reverse this condition is becoming insulin sensitive so how it can be done let me share my screen and let me share i named this video reversing the lifestyle disease and uh, in that water lifestyle i already mentioned and the causes of lifestyle disease there are so many causes of uh, lifestyle disease among that the first can be your poor nutrition if you are a person who is taking refined sugars, ready-made foods or junk foods for a prolonged time, there will be always insulin, high insulin spike when you take such kind of foods. And if this thing happened for a long time, it will make your cells insulin resistant. So our body has a tendency, if anything you give more, it will become resistant. So in the same way, if in your inner body more insulin is there, obviously your body will becoming insulin resistant this can be one reason second inactive lifestyle you are working in a corporate world and your work is completely on desk and you are in you will be in sitting position for prolonged time that means you are not utilizing the calories properly and upon that your nutrition also poor this will add, add like a ice on cake so these all things your poor nutrition along with your poor lifestyle will also lead to your lifestyle diseases specifically your type 2 diabetes and third we can say you are a person suffering from high stress high stress leads to the production of cortisol which is known as stress hormone and cortisol once in your body any hormone is like uh, irregulated all it will it will affect all the other hormones also so your cortisol will directly go and poke to your insulin and uh, it will the process will start there your insulin will be high and uh, your body will be becoming insulin resistant and again the condition is type 2 diabetes or you have a poor sleep 
this can be also one cause because most of the people compromise their sleep for their work and the poor sleep leads to high stress high stress leads to the condition which i already explained and one more reason can be due to your genetics due to your genes if one of your parent is suffering from type 2 diabetes you will be having a chance of 15 to 20 percent of uh, getting the becoming a diabetic or if your both parents are suffering this percentage will be higher like 30 to 40 percent of chance but you also becoming a diabetic so these were the few root causes why people will suffer from lifestyle disease specifically the type 2 diabetes so when we are speaking about type 2 diabetes we cannot forget the role of insulin because this is the backbone this is the crucial hormone which plays a role of regulating our blood sugars and keeping us away from this condition so the role of insulin in simple words is just pulling the uh, sugars from the food and sending to the blood cells to utilize as energy it has other roles also like depositing fat regulating the energy but this is the primary role so you can imagine if your body is a lock your insulin can be a key to open the lock and uh, take that energy to utilize so think the lock became full rusty and it jammed and your insulin is trying to open but it uh, it's unable to uh, open this this means you have a key the insulin is the key and you have the key but the lock is jammed your body became resistant to uh, take up that uh, sugar and uh, use as the energy so this is the simple example to understand the insulin always try to keep your body insulin sensitive to manage or even it can reverse your type 2 diabetes so how you can make your body insulin sensitive so let me share my screen and let me explain how you can make your body insulin sensitive in that first step towards cutting down your simple sugars try to cut down your sugar simple sugars which are low on fiber which will leads to your blood sugar spike and which will imbalance your insulin hormone so try to cut down and uh, it's not going to happen overnight you need to practice first minimizing the simple sugar because it is a addiction simple sugar is also a addiction it, the addiction is so severe it's like uh, more addictive than your alcohol also so slowly slowly minimize your simple sugars and uh, try to replace the simple sugars with uh, whole foods or complex carbohydrate whole foods like uh, vegetables whole grains legumes So such kind of foods will help you to stabilize your blood sugars which are directly involved in stabilizing your insulin and the second point avoiding processed foods so this is the one important step you need to take you need to avoid all processed all ready made foods because most of the ready made foods will be having hidden sugars and they will be high on fructose which are so dangerous for your liver health also So try to cut down all ready-made foods and try to eat your homemade foods or foods which are made in front of you. And, and focusing on whole foods, as I said, you adding healthy fats. Fat is the only food which will not affect on your blood sugars and which will not poke your insulin. Keep re- remember this. So fats are the best. Healthy fats are the best foods to be added in your diet. So where you will get the healthy fats as we all know we will get from olive oils nut nut butters and uh, avocado ghee coconut oil all these are healthy fat sources so you can include your healthy fats to manage your blood sugars and staying active obviously we all know the benefits of staying active so you need to be more active to utilize the energy to utilize the sugars which are available in your food as a energy and uh, most important living a stress free life means not feeling stress for any small things trying yourself to avoid the stress or keeping yourself away from the stress or at least to manage your stress levels so these were the few things which can which will help you to make your body insulin sensitive so like always let me share some do's what you can do these are simple ways you can do you can take a screenshot or make a note eat healthy foods practice intermittent practice intermediate fasting is will also help you to make your body insulin sensitive you can use this as a weapon to make your body insulin sensitive because when you fast for a prolonged time you will be giving rest to your hormones you are you will be not eating any food obviously there will be no blood sugar or there will be no insulin spike or anything so in this way you can manage your blood sugars efficiently and intermediate fasting now nowadays it's proven that it shows tremendous results with the person who is suffering from type 2 diabetes but 
you need to take your physician's advice before practicing such kind of thing and uh, coming to next to do incomplete strength training strength training will help you to utilize your sugars as a energy manage stress by meditating or practicing yoga or prioritizing sleep because sleep play, plays a key role in keeping you healthy now coming to the don'ts what are the few don'ts you can take a screenshot or you can make a note of it this also so avoid refined sugar that is the first thing don't skip meals or crash or practice any crash diets you don't require this you need to balance your plate and add uh, good quality of ingredients and don't rely solely on medication try some uh, dietary measures also which will both combinedly will can give you a great results and don't stress due to small small setbacks learn how to manage your stress and live healthy and uh, fit life so this was all about in this video a short video i guess it, it gone little bit longer but i tried to explain li little bit deeper level this concept and uh, if you practice what i shared definitely you will be seeing great results so instead of just relying on medicine instead of surrendering what the myth was like you are type 2 diabetes is not at all reversible you can try by following this simple lifestyle changes and i'm sure you will be getting a good results and still if you have a confusion or are you a person who is seriously looking some guidance to manage or reverse the lifestyle diseases there is a link in my description you can click on the link and you can be a part of my community where we will connect on one on one basis and we will work together so hope you felt this video informative if you felt this video informative please do like and share with your friends and please do subscribe to my channel for more informative videos like this in future so this is sanju kaliwala signing off see you in the next video till the time stay healthy stay fit stay natural bye